behalf of all our partners and IntelliCAP to Sankalp Summit 2015. This is the seventh edition of the summit, and we are really happy to be here in Delhi. The word Sankalp means pledge. It's a Hindi word, and for those, because we have delegates from 20 different countries, this was the pledge that we took in 2009 that there is a need to celebrate the women and men who have chosen to actually have the business models which will have the interest of the people at their core. And this is the approach that we have been actually trying to look at. These are the businesses that are trying to flatten the income pyramid, create opportunities for those who are excluded, and this is not just an occasional happening. There is a momentous change over the last 10 decades that has been taking place not only in India, but in many other emerging economies, which we believe needs to be celebrated, discussed, and shared with everyone. The Global Sankal Summit is a platform for change makers, entrepreneurs, investors who are looking for conscious capital to deploy, and corporates who are looking for inclusive development to happen. Last year at Sankal Summit, we laid out our five years inclusive development agenda, and we basically started our own work in this area by looking at societies and countries that have been more inclusive than others. And one of the key features we discussed or discovered among these societies and countries is they have been able to use innovation as a tool for being more inclusive. What we realized is innovation has allowed them to deal with ages of dogmas and hierarchies and flatten it out. And that's where we realized that innovation is a critical theme for inclusive societies. Innovation-inspired disruption has a probability, has a capability to make the world more equitable. We have witnessed how internet and mobile telephony has not only converted the world into a global village, and it has integrated us across races, regions, and religions. But the most important thing it has done is it has flattened the income disparity and information disparities, something which has been remarkable and has managed to change the world in much shorter period of time than it has in ever in the last few centuries. Sankal Global Summit 2015 acknowledges that innovation is going to be the key theme. And we basically would like to study the interplay of innovation with impact capital social businesses, and corporates looking for inclusive development. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you over the next two days to ponder over questions of how do you scale innovations and how do you inspire innovations to be nurtured and who's going to finance the innovation ecosystem that you believe is needed to nurture these innovations. The role of the government cannot be overemphasized in any context, however, the role of the government becomes extremely important when you are going to look at vulnerable sections of the society and try to connect them with capital, entrepreneurs, and corporates. And this is where probably you need a government that is not only visionary, that's not only forward-looking, but it's also very compassionate. Right here in this hall, yesterday, our Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, actually launched a very forward-looking regulatory come banking financial institution, the Mudra Bank, outlaying his vision for financial inclusion. I'm hopeful that we are actually going to benefit massively from the government's forward-looking stance in trying to bring the innovations for the marginal people today. I'm actually delighted that we have two of the most forward-looking ministers of the current government on the dais. You, will going to be, you are going to hear from them, and I'm hopeful and benefit and really uh, hoping that not only do we, would we be able to take impact investing as a theme to the attention of the government, but to borrow a term from our friends from Lemelson Foundation, the idea of impact inventing also to the notice of the, not only the government in India, but governments across the world. Before I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to pay my ode to millions of those entrepreneurs worldwide whose vision to change the world is what we have come to represent. From South Asia to Africa, we are trying to bridge bridges, we are trying to build bridges, and between continents and countries to fight the inequity that afflict us. I welcome all of you, 1,200 delegates, more than 20 countries, to celebrate innovation 
a as a trigger for inclusion. I invite you to engage with the government as an actor in mainstreaming equitable development, and I invite you to participate in the interplay of these actors with social business, capital, and corporates at Sankal Global Summit 2015. Before I conclude, let me thank Fiki, who has actually been very instrumental in helping us to move to Delhi. We were very unaware of how to deal with Delhi, because we have been always doing Sankalp in <laughs> Mumbai. But uh, I would like to actually mention and thank Fiki for, for, for bringing us here, for making sure that we are at Vigyan Bhavan, which itself is an incredible achievement. And I would like to conclude my speech with a warm welcome to each one of you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, namaskar. Fiki is extremely delighted to partner with IntelliCap for the seventh Global Sankalp Summit and Expo. We've come together today to discuss and debate on critical development challenges being faced by a significant population of our society. We are here to examine the problems and to identify innovative solutions to address those problems. It was the vision of our Honorable Minister Sri Nitin Gadkariji to showcase frugal, distributed, affordable innovations from across the country to the government, private sector, and investors. He had put forth this challenge to FIKI in December 2014, and I'm very happy to share that today we are showcasing over 100 innovative solutions at the FIKI Sankalp Social Innovation Expo. FIKI has partnered with the De Technology, Depart Te Technology Development Board, Department of Science and Technology, USAID, UKAID, ICCO Cooperation, ICICI Foundation, and Vadwani Foundation to implement the Millennium Alliance Initiative. The alliance brings together various players from the innovation ecosystem to provide a boost to the small and medium social entrepreneurs from the country, mainly working at the grassroots level. We are supporting 29 projects under the Millennium Alliance with a funding support of rupees 29 crores and providing them with market access and connect. Six of the projects being supported are in other parts of the developing world, namely Kenya, Nepal, Bangladesh, Uganda, Afghanistan, and Ethiopia. I hope that the next two days of the summit will be highly interactive. And I thank all the participants and the team members who have helped put this summit together. Thank you. Namaskar. Thank you.